Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Siren. Last time, we found out what happened to both Tomoko and Naoko, as we found that they had both been turned into Shibito. Uh, Naoko apparently willingly, as she walked into that pool of red water, but we don't actually know what happened to Tomoko. And as it'll turn out, what actually happened to Tomoko, I don't think is ever actually shown in the game. It was sort of a thing that's mentioned uh, in... In extra material, I guess, by the author of the game. I guess we'll mention, I guess we'll go over that a little bit later. Uh, but now we know that Tomoko completed her mission to find her parents, but it did not end exactly how she thought it was going to go. However, we are not following Tomoko, Tomoko or Naoko into the next mission, because as Siren does, it will shift between characters and time periods. So we're going on, we're going back to Shiro in his mission in day two at zero o'clock at the Miata Clinic. We did this before, but we have to do a second objective. The first objective that we had to do was defeat Mina. And we did that, but there is something else that we need to do because some people were asking, what is it that we use that extremely heavy EEG machine for? We didn't use it for anything, but we're going to use it this time. Before that, though, we can read this description. It says that Risa, whose consciousness is now in sync with Mina's, appears before Miata wearing a nurse's uniform. Although aware that it is Risa smiling at him, Miata places his hands around her neck, repeating the actions of the past. So I think someone did ask, was Risa really dead at the beginning of this mission? It says that Risa's consciousness is in sync with Mina's, and I guess that is why Risa is a Shibito. I don't know if she's actually dead, but if she wasn't, she definitely is after she is strangled by Shiro. And speaking of which, it does mention that Shiro is repeating the actions of the past. It has been hinted up to this point that the reason that Mina was dead was because Shiro killed her. Uh, before all this started happening, Shiro strangled Mina and buried her body, which is why he was surprised in his first mission when he saw that hole in the ground with footprints walking away from it. As for why Shiro would have murdered Mina, we don't know yet, but maybe we'll get a hint or two about it. For right now, we're going to start this stage. And in the second objective, Shiro is going to have to do something pretty important. The first objective was defeating Mina, Mina. and also defeating Risa. We did a bunch of times, because Risa follows us all throughout this level. You are twins. You even look the same in death. So, even if Risa wasn't quite dead before walking into the room, I think she's all the way dead at this point. The first objective was defeat Mina, but the second is to acquire Urien. Now, that's something we have not actually heard of yet. We, have, we don't know what that is, but it is something that is actually very important. And it's in this hospital, and Shiro has to find it. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Shiro wants to be left alone, but at this point, it's pretty clear that he's not exactly the most sympathetic character. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to do what we did last time, which was I had to knock down Risa to get her out of the way, get this guy down. When Risa gets back up, I'm going to have to knock her out in this large room, in this lobby. And then I'm going to need to run back into the first room that we were in. Let's see, is she getting up? Yep, there she goes. Risa. Risa. Come on. Oh, Risa. Over here. Over here. We're going to have to knock her out in here. Oh, that guy's getting back up already. That's right. Enemies in this level get up real fast. Two on one is a problem, but that worked out okay. That's the real dangerous part in this game when you have more than one enemy going up against you. 
Because I, I took a lot of hits, and Shiro would not have been able to take too much more. So, that was actually quite close. Alright, Reese is up. Now, we want to do the same thing that we did last time. Which was, we needed to knock Risa out so she will go bash open the door that we can't get through. There's a locked door, and behind that locked door is the EEG machine. We didn't actually need to get it last time for the first objective, but we do need to get it now. So I do need Risa to go do her thing before we step out of this door. She's taking her time, looking around for Shiro, but I think that she's on her way. Go into this door. Yep, here we go. Because I can't open this door on my own. I have no way of doing it. So there we go. I needed her to do that, so we'll be able to get in there. Alright, let's take out the spider, first of all. Getting too close to him. All right, and now Risa, yep, going down that hallway. All right, we need to get this, the extremely heavy machine. We're just going to shove that in our pocket, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to unlock this door now. Open this up, and we are taken off. We don't really have to be concerned with a whole lot in this level. We don't have to unlock that bathroom door that Tamon used for his second objective. Because we already did it once. We don't need to do it a second time. It already counts as having been done. Because after all, if it didn't count and we had to do it again, that would cause a time paradox, since Tamon has already done his second objective using that unlocked door. So we don't have to worry about that. What we do have to worry about is we do want to get to where we need to be before Risa gets too far. She she walks pretty slowly, but I don't really want her getting in Shiro's way when we have to do what we have to do with this EEG machine. I also picked out that light bulb, and uh, if you remember, we did not use that light bulb last time. But we do need to use it now. Just gonna close this door so that guy is stuck in there. Alright, let me see where Risa is. Alright, she's just at the bottom of the stairs. She's walking real slow, so she is not gonna catch up to me. Alright, what do we need to do? So we haven't really looked at what we need to do for the second objective yet, as I was just trying to get for, uh, far enough away that we didn't have to worry about anything. Let's take a look at the hints. The hint we want to look at is that one. It says to first use the light, then the machine, for the peeping person. There's a peeping person. A peeping person in this hospital that we need to use this machine on. But where could the peeping person possibly be? Where could this peeping person be peeping? There's one part of the hospital that we have not gone in in this level yet, and that's the courtyard in the middle. Now, the reason I'm standing right here is because there's a garbage chute right here. We've seen it before, but we've never actually needed to use it for anything. But if we sight jack around, I want to get into the courtyard. Here we go. There's a sniper standing in the courtyard of the hospital. And I don't know if you can see it from here, but the bottom door to the... Yeah, he's going to walk... Yeah, there it is. You see it on the left? That's the bottom door to the garbage chute. And if you remember, Risa, in her second objective, unlocked and opened that garbage door. So we needed her to do that before we could actually do our second objective here. So we now, ha we can, we now can drop something in this garbage chute. It looks like a garbage chute, and what can we drop? Well, we have a choice. We can drop the light bulb, or we can drop the EEG machine. It did say to first use the light bulb, so let's drop that down. Mm -hmm. 
All right. That's distracted him. This distracted the peeping person. He heard that light bulb break, and he is going to check it out. He's, like, going over here and he's saying, what's this? What's all this? Who did this now? And now we're going to drop an EEG machine on his head. The extremely heavy EEG machine. And that's what we needed to use that for. I should mention, we don't actually have to do that. It is possible to just fight that guy without doing it. But it's fun to do it this way. There he is. Let's just finish up our business here before he gets up. But yeah, it's not actually necessary to do that. But it makes it's the easy way. It's the way you're supposed to do it. There's a statue here. It looks like it's been dragged all over the ground. And if we look behind it, we can see, like, there are marks right here. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you remember, but when Tamin was here, when he was looking for uh, Yoriko, this statue was in a different place. And there was a hole with a ladder going down into the ground, into an underground chamber in which Tamin found Mina holding Yoriko's glasses. Well, this mission takes place before that one. So this statue, it looks like it's going to... Someone's going to have to move it, and that someone is going to be Shiro. Alright, we found a secret compartment, a secret area that we can go down. Tamin is going to go down this same ladder a while later, but before he did, Shiro did. And we're going to see what's in this underground room. Because Mina's not there. We know where Mina is. She's back in the hospital. She's not here yet, so if she's not here, what is going to be here? You want me to take it? And we've acquired the Urien, which is now going to be added to our archive. And since we found it, and that was the objective, that means Mission 2 is now accomplished. Well, we don't know what the Urien is yet, because we haven't been able to take a look at it, but it is something that is going to be important. So in this underground chamber, Shiro found a withered corpse holding the Urien, and it handed it to him. So I guess we'll learn more about that later on. The Urien, that is. I don't know if we learn anything about that corpse. That may be just as left a mystery. But for right now, we're going to jump ahead, I think, a couple hours. Four hours, actually. What's this? I've been waiting for you. This is the secret of everlasting life. It doesn't matter how you cut them up, they just regenerate. I can't do much about it now. You're insane. All right, and now we have the medical notes written by Shiro, which he says contain the secret of everlasting life. You may remember that objective one of this mission was to defeat Mina, and now you see what it is that Shiro did after defeating both Mina and Risa and finding the underground chamber. Uh, he just kind of kind of went to town with his science, uh, trying to learn how the Shibito body ticks. And unfortunately for Mina and Risa, that did not seem like a pleasant experience. I know at least one person has asked, uh, what happens if you cut off a Shibito's head? Why doesn't anyone try that? Shiro has tried that. Shiro has now tried everything. And according to him, uh, nothing works. They just regenerate regardless of what you do. Uh, so... That is something that 
we have learned now. Also, Shiro maybe is losing it a little bit. I mean, he was already a murderer, but K now seems to be uh, frightened off by Shiro. We'll take a look at what Shiro wrote down later on, but for right now, that's going to be it for this episode of Siren. Um, so unfortunately, things just... The Onda sisters really have been served a raw deal in this whole adventure. Uh, things did not go well for them, but maybe we'll see them reappear later on. And uh, I think next time... I think next time we are actually jumping ahead really far in the timeline to later on in day three. And we're going to have a mission with Kay, I believe. A new mission is what I think is going to be happening. Uh, so I guess we'll see what it is that Kay has been up to. Well, what, it, what he gets up to, a no, like this, is, this was zero o'clock on day two. And the next mission, I think, is going to be in the afternoon of day three. So it's, a, it's like over 24 hours after this cutscene. So we'll see what Kay is up to. We'll see what he's doing. Um, and I guess we'll read what it is that Shiro wrote down, the results of his studies. And we'll do that next time on Siren. I'll see you then.